welcome to ashok it my name is ragu in this session we are going to discuss top 20 spring security frequently asked questions let's the start session first question what is spring security spring security it's actually a separate module that is given in the spring framework this is mainly to handle authentication and authorization concept for the java applications which are implemented using spring framework it even takes care of lot of spring security issues we can also call vulnerabilities and also different types of attacks csrf cross site request forgery we can implement this by using a simple annotation that is at the rate enable web security second question what are some essential features of spring security main feature is to handle authentication and authorization in a flexible manner in a required process for your application java authentication and authorization service jas is actually a module that is given by sun microsystem of course now part of oracle by using this spring security is actually implemented it allows single sign-on that is called sso in case of multiple applications we have those we can access by using one-time login you can take g suit google suit if you log in using google credentials you can access gmail google drive google docs youtube all the things with a single sign-on one-time authentication what is spring security authentication and authorization concept authentication means it's actually verifying the current user identity who is want to access this application here the restrictions are verified by using a simple username and password it's like a login form is given you want to access the website then you have to enter the simple username and password that is called authentication authorization indicates who can access what this is also called a simple process of role for example an application a user is logged in but he will be having a role called admin role called user role called guest so based on the role types this is going to be decided who can access what that role process handling is called authorization Question number four what do you mean by basic authentication basic authentication nothing but we have to send the username and password using http authorization head this is we are going to use a concept of base 64 encoding remember it's not encryption it's an encoding concept so this header parameter is actually going to be sent from the request and it can be even decoded very easily the syntax looks like first a value is constructed using username colon password and it is base 64 encoded the same value authorization header is actually added in the request header body okay and basic encoded value we have to send okay authorization header need to be specified this is a basic authentication explain spring security context and security context holder spring security context will hold current user details it is a subtype of principal interface that is called authentication object so who is the current user what are his roles everything will be stored in the context to retrieve the context directly we can't access context object to retrieve that we are going to use security context holder by using a static call security context holder is also called as a helper class that is used to access the security context object question number six explain spring security oauth2 oauth2 is actually a standard it's also called open authorization in this case we are going to use a third party authorization server you might have seen something like facebook login google login github login we are going to use so our application is called client application that is going to get the access from authorization server on behalf of resource owner or the user who is actually trying to log here there are different words or terminals we have resource owner nothing but end user client nothing but application that you are trying to access authorization and resource server nothing but actually the one which is providing what security mechanism like a facebook google and github applications question number seven what is method security and why do we need here the major concept is role that role will decide who can access what that is called authorizing a security measurement is applied even to prevent unauthorized users it even says who cannot access this event and who can access this event for example admin can access all the employees employee can access his project and profile 
employee cannot access admin credentials like we are going to mention everything for a specific method here so we are preventing that is unauthorized access even by using the specific rules okay such concept is actually implemented at method level security this one internally uses aspect oriented programming question number eight what do you mean by hashing in spring security generally end user is actually going to register his details at the same time he will provide password that password we store in the database as it is that is called plain text storing the plain text in the database is not a recommended standard so it should be converted to unreadable format that is called encrypting the password and storing by using a mechanism called hashing to convert this into unreadable format there are so many hashing algorithms available message digester algorithms and security hashing algorithms that is called sha algorithms okay these algorithms are used to convert the password into unreadable format question number nine what is password encoder password encoder is actually an interface this is given by spring security it has two simple methods one is encode at the time of registering the user they will give plain text as a password that is converted to encode method that is encode method will convert into unreadable format and will store in the database matches method is used at the time of login remember encode is actually used at the time of register matches is used in in case of login if end user gives his password that is actually encoded and compared with the database password if both are matching it says yes it is true the user is valid question number 10 name some security annotations that are allowed to use in spell spring expression language there are so many annotations like pre-authorized pre-filter post-authorized and post-filter okay these are all you can access based on the expressions spell concept we can also call it expression based access control ebac pre-authorized annotation is the mostly used annotations generally for method level security there is a legacy annotation old annotation at the rate secured annotation okay generally we can't use in case of this new spell concept so if you want to check the role admin role user you can go for an annotation that is pre-authorized in case of secured remember legacy applications you see secured annotations latest applications you can see pre-authorized what is authentication manager in spring security authentication authentication manager says in simple how the authentication process will happen. this authentication manager contains the reference to all the authentication provider this one will be having a method that is authenticate that is actually going to give one of the action the first one if it is true if it is a valid it's actually going to indicate authentication as a true in case of invalid it will throw authentication exception if unable to find a valid input or null inputs it returns null it's going to return these actions based on the types that is internally used by authenticate method what are some predefined filters used by spring security there is a proper and a standard filter chain given in a complex manner by spring security and we can use in a flexible order one security context persistence filter generally it will get the security context object by validating the current user session id from the current request cookie username password authentication filter generally it is executed in case of login form submitted it will take the username it will take the password verifies with the database by taking request dot get get parameter mechanism to read the form data there are even some other filters available in spring security these two are major when you add a custom filter in spring security in a security filter chain obviously we can add if you want to implement your own logic then you can add or you can replace the existed filters but if you want to implement a new functionality depending on your requirement yes you can create a new filter and you can add in the chain also we have one interface representation filter and continuation we have a lot of classes we can use in that we have a filter type once per request filter you can implement this and you can override configurations and at last you have to register this with the security configurations how to implement a custom filter in spring security we can use generic filter bean class this we can use and we can implement our custom filter this generic filter bean is having a method that is do filter that takes servlet request servlet response and filter chain filter chain is actually used to call the next filter or the our dispatcher servlet in the execution order what does at the rate symbol and hash symbol is used in spring expression language at the rate symbol generally used to refer a spring bean from the spring container and symbol hash is used to refer a parameter for a method that you are using example i'm just showing authorization dot name that's actually authorization object as a parameter we are taking that is used to print the current user 
this authorization is a subtype of principal interfaction number 16. What do you mean by session management in Spring Security? Session means, remember, at the time of login, user will enter username and password. If they're actually valid, one HTTP session is created at server side. That session creation, managing, destroying, everything is called session management. To control this HTTP sessions, session management filter and session authentication strategies are used. Generally, filter will check J session ID and if it's a valid, we are going to continue. Authentication strategy will take care of session timeout, session IDs checking. Okay, session st strategy is actually going to verify is that object null or exist or not. One of the mostly asked question nowadays, question number 17, explain salting and its usage. This concept is actually applied in spring version 3.1 that is spring security version we can call. Salting means we are going to have a random number added to our password. Random number is actually generated added to the password then it is converted to encoded format or encrypted format that is using password hashing. This salting concept is to improve the uniqueness of the password and also complexity easily it cannot be decoded at the time of hashing the password while storing in the database even salt also stored its servlet filter intercepts all the incoming requests sent to an application here we have a predefined filter delegating filter process. this is actually going to stay between our application container and end customer request every request will bypass through this filter the servlet container it allows to register the filter using its own standard or else we can even register by using servlet container mechanism okay by using web.xml okay we can define a filter tag and we can write even question number 19 to secure which layer at the rate enable global method security annotation is generally to secure the service layers this annotation is used by using the specification request annotation at the rate secured this is a bit legacy annotation you can see mostly in the old of type of application in the new version onwards you can go for expression based annotations that is spell based annotation question number 20 how to implement spring boot plus basic authentication i want to implement basic authentication you need to create spring boot application with a dependency spring boot starter security or you can add it manually in pom.xml then in application.yml you need to mention a default username and default password you can define a security configuration class that is web security config adapter and define some rest endpoints if you want to test the application thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos